This video will continue on lessons on layers from where we left off. Remember Layer Properties Manager to click on Create a New Layer. Name it, say, I don't know, uh, HVAC. Assign it a new color. To set it current, click on the green check or double click on it to put the green check mark there. Move the layer dialog box out of the way. Begin drawing with circles, lines, or arcs, or text. You're drawing in the properties of the layer you've chosen current. You can always change the current layer down here and begin drawing lines, arcs, and circles on a new layer. Let's uh, look at proper li property properties of layers one more time. Instead of, instead of changing colors of layers, let's change the line, uh, line weight. Uh, click on the word default, and you get a similar list to the colors. All you got to do is come down here, click OK, and whatever that layer is on will be plotted out in the, in, in the weight of the layer. Now you may be wondering, well, I don't see any difference. Well, let's move, close the layer property manager docs, dialog box. To see the line weight, you need to click on this show hide line weight button, and that will show the relative difference between the heavy line weight and the reduced line weight. Now you can't take it to the bank. The more you zoom in, the number of pixels remains the same. Uh, the line weight only controls how fat the line is when it comes out on paper. You can adjust it by right clicking on the layer property or the uh, line weight settings and slide this thing depending on whether you got a high res or low res monitor. Click OK and they, they, they change as you've uh, adjusted on that slider scale. That's about it. Again, set the current layer from down here if you want. Whatever you draw in will be in accordance with the layer. You can always assign a, a new color to a layer um, so that whatever is, uh, is already on that layer and what is yet to be drawn on that layer will be drawn in accordance with the layer properties. We'll close layer property manager dialog box, click the circle, and again with line weights, we'll go up here, change the line weight to, uh, to something, uh, maybe, maybe something super thin, click OK. Now everything in the floor coloring layer in color 1, 2, 3 uh, will be continuous line type and as fine a line weight as possible change the, the line type again. You see it's as thin as possible. Again, right click, pick line properties, adjust in accordance with the quality of your monitor. The default setting is adjustable here on this drop down list. This is the millimeter scale because we're used to working with pencil lead in millimeter. Again, only the printout will accurately show this line weight. You can't use it for tube diameter or um, uh, plywood thickness, wire gauge, or anything. That's about it.